Hey YouTube, Will from Willbrack Design here. So today we're just doing a really quick video on how to draw a 3D cube in Figma. So this is something I recently learned. Um, it's really cool. You'll be able to use it in one of my other videos that's coming out soon, or it might even be out already if you're watching this in the future. That video will be all about loaders and how to create animating loaders um, using interactive components within Figma. This is also the first video where I'm actually showing my face in the video, which is pretty cool. Um, usually I use QuickTime and I found that QuickTime isn't the best for showing my face as well. Um, so I'm trying out Loom, which is pretty cool. And let's have a go. So this is actually recording in 4K um, and using my camera and it's using very little CPU at all, which is really nice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here, grab our polygon tool, gonna draw out a triangle and then we're gonna select this here and we're gonna increase the count to six. So now we've got six, we've got this nice polygon. And if you use your imagination, you can kind of imagine a line across here, here, and down here, and that's your 3D cube. So we're gonna jump into this, and how I've done that is I've just double clicked in. I've also added a drop shadow. Let's remove that, because we don't need a drop shadow. So jumping into the shape here, we're gonna to go to our pen here, which I think you can just press P. Yep, you can just press P. And we're gonna join this one. In fact, no, we're not, we're gonna join number one to number four down here like that. So now we've got this kind of um, uh, hexagon here or yeah, hexagon here and no, not hexagon, hexagon's eight. No, hexagon is right. Hexagon is six, octagon is eight. So now we've got this hexagon here. We've got uh, a line going down the middle. So we're gonna jump back in again, grab our pen tool again. In fact, we're just gonna press P because that's much better. We're gonna grab this point here and we're going to drag it down to the center and it's important that it's that snapped at the center it's also really helpful um, that we've got that center snap there and we're going to do the same here there we go so if i just click out of the pen tool a second we've and add a stroke you can now see we've pretty much got the cube plus this line here so what we want to do is we want to copy this shape here this shape here and this top shape here without the line down the center so to do that, we're going to click in again, and we're just going to grab these sides. Now this can be a little bit fiddly. There we go. I'm not sure I grabbed that bottom one. Yeah, there we go. So we can see, if we zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see we've got this highlighted blue edge all the way around the shape. And I'm going to copy, uh, copy it, which is Command-C, and then I'm going to do Command-V to paste. And that's not worked somehow. Let's try that again. Click in, grab the edge. There we go. Grab the edge, grab the edge. Ah, oh, I know what I did. So you can see I actually grabbed this entire shape here, which, because it's highlighted with this, um, these horizontal lines or diagonal lines, uh, we don't want that. So I'm just gonna shift click into that shape and deselect it and now now you can see we've just got those edges there. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, pull that out over there. If we leave the shape, we can see it's actually still one shape. So we just need to click in, Command X. We can leave that now and we can paste it outside. So it's now its own shape over here. We're going to do the same over here. We can ignore that. We don't need that. We're going to delete this whole thing soon anyway. So we're going to click in again, grab this edge, this edge, this edge, which doesn't want to be grabbed for some reason. There we go. And that edge. Yeah, and make sure you haven't got the rest of the shape selected. Command C, Command V, drag it away. Command X, Command V again. Oh, no. Uh, click outside of the shape and then Command V, and there we go. So now we just need this shape here. And we are going to do that by clicking in. You get the idea now. I'm going to select all these edges. Make sure we haven't got the background and we haven't got that edge. There we go, there we go, that's what we want. So we can see it's all highlighted with the blue edge. Command C, Command V to copy it. Command X to cut it. Click outside of the shape so we're no longer in that shape. And Command V again, and there we go. So now we've got our cube, or all our pieces to make our cube. Don't really want these edges, so let's hide the stroke. 
and we can pull it and it snaps like that. So there's, there we go. So I think that's pretty good. And now we can choose our highlights. So we're gonna make the top, let's make them all, I don't know. Let's pick a color that isn't disgusting. That'll do, that blue will do. So copy that hex. Oops. Paste it in. There we go. And then we're going to just. So we're going to say the highlight is coming from top left, I think. So the top will be the lightest. So if we go in here, and we just pull that up a bit. And then this will be the next lightest. So we just pull it up a tiny bit like that. And then we go, we've got a 3D cube. And that's as easy it is as it. Uh, that's as easy as it is to create it. Um, we can now delete this. This was just for working. We don't need this anymore. Group that. And you can see you can now, now kind of stack some cubes together. And they snap pretty nicely as well. So there we go. And just a real quick one, um, just to kind of show what I'm building somewhere else uh, with these cubes is I've built this little prototype here. This will be in another video, but I just want to show it really quickly as it's relevant. And there you go. You can create like loading animations like that. So that's kind of the power of using cubes in Figma. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you have any uh, feedback, if you've got any videos that you would like to see. Um, if there's anything I missed out in this video that you didn't quite understand, drop me a message. I'll reply as soon as possible. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe. And I guess most importantly, tell your friends, share this video on social networks. Um, the quicker this channel grows, the better. I'm trying to reach as many people with these free tutorials as possible and improve the design community as a whole. Um, also feel free to tag other channels. If there's other great design channels, feel free to tag them. I'm always keen on watching other people's videos. Um, yeah, so. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.